Welcome back everybody. Today I'm coming to you with a new update for the Spenny Prize. It's being worked on by Ben Hawkins, one of our admins, and a couple of other people who he's going to plug now. Who do, who helped you out? So I've been be, I've been have a seventh Durandil helping me out with this, and Apophis when he decides to help out. Um, uh, they both have been great help on this project. And she First. looks sleek. Yeah, seventh is the uh, the one who's pretty famous for building the uh, the excel uh, the ex yeah the excelsior. Yeah. Um, uh, he's also working on a uh, enterprise B. No, not not B C. He's working on enterprise C right now. Right. Or the prototype of the enterprise C. I think it's the. Uh, the prototype version of the uh, the ambassador class it's looking pretty cool too but this has been our project for the past gosh uh three months i think <laughs> yeah and it's been coming along real nicely as well so are you at the point where you're doing interior stuff now or uh, we haven't really gotten any interior work done. We have laid out where the decks are going to be. Um, right. We laid down the, the deck lines. Um, but besides that, we haven't really done any interior yet. Um, uh, we're basically at the point where we've finished wedging. Um, and we're yep. working on doing the coloring. Yep. And, of course, installing windows and different access ports and stuff like that. Yeah. We're hoping to be able to get as many of the um, main locations that uh, Mystic has actually blueprinted out yep. um, put into the ship. I don't know if we're going to be able to do a complete deck layout of the ship because there's not enough. Um, uh, I don't think there's enough decks. I don't think we put enough deck lines on it. To it's be probably because of the. Rooms. It's because of the loss of having yeah. a minimum of a one meter thick wall. Yeah, it's pretty much it. It's one of that's the limitations on interiors in this game is that, you know, the minimum thickness we have is one meter. Yeah. And uh, when you look at, like, 30 floors or less, it doesn't take much to run out of room. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, he did actually say that he'd be willing to help us out with uh, stuff like that. So uh, I'll send this video on to him. And you can see where we're at with the progress. <clears throat> so, all that's left is to uh, see her jump out. And uh, we're good to go. I love it, mate, all though. Right. The work on this is beautiful. It looks really nice. Yeah, we've been trying to keep as um, uh, true to the design as possible. Since that new uh, 3D model actually was finished out. Um, it's been helping us out a lot, being able to visualize it in three dimensions. So you can take references from that now yeah. on that video. Yeah, that's that is useful. It's got a really nice shape to it, this ship. Yeah, it is. I love the work on the deflector dish as well. Yeah, that's my baby there. I did all most of that. Let's get a close-up on that before we warp her out. Okay. She and there it is. Can't wait to see more. Thanks for bringing her in. Yep. You're welcome. 